Helikopterin parçaları burada. Debris and mangled metal can be seen wedged between trees at a site said to be the wreckage of Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi's helicopter on Monday. The footage from a Turkish broadcaster showed parts of the destroyed aircraft in a misty forested area. Officials and state media on Monday said Raisi, a hardliner seen as a potential successor to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, was killed along with six others aboard the helicopter after it crashed in poor weather in mountains near the Azerbaijan border. Supreme Leader Khamenei, who holds ultimate power with a final say on foreign policy and Iran's nuclear program, announced five days of public mourning and said first Vice President Mohammad Makhbur would take over as interim president. In the first cabinet meeting after the crash, the acting leader vowed the incident would not interrupt the government's operations. In Haudese, Haudese is this is a serious incident for all of us. It is sad and upsetting. But in the interests of the country and our people, we won't have any disruption. The country will continue moving forward under this leadership. Everyone should continue on with their roles despite this incident. In no way will this tragic incident interfere with the government and the running of our country. The crash comes at a time of growing dissent within Iran over an array of political, social and economic crises. Iran's clerical rulers face international pressure over Tehran's disputed nuclear program and its deepening military ties with Russia during the war in Ukraine. <laughs> Iranians in exile in Berlin celebrated the president's death, while the head of a Paris-based Iranian opposition group told Reuters that Raisi's death represents an enormous and serious strategic blow to the mullah's supreme leader Ali Khamenei and the entire regime. The United Nations held a moment of silence for Raisi Monday, while leaders around the globe expressed their condolences including Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan, who said earlier it sent rescue teams to assist. While even the U.S. offered to help after receiving a request from Iran, according to State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller. I'm not going to get into the details, but we were asked by the uh, Iranian government for assistance. We said that we would be willing to assist. It's something that we would do with respect to any government in this situation. Ultimately, uh, largely for logistical reasons, we weren't able to provide that assistance. The U.S. government offered condolences to the Iranian people, though a White House spokesperson said Raisi had blood on his hands for supporting extremist groups in the region. An Israeli official who requested anonymity told Reuters it was not involved in the crash, while the U.S. said it played no role either.